Hola, amigos. Talladega week, which means for us, mostly kind of a week off. Uh, like Daytona, we gave you about a month ago. We don't play heavily on Super Speedway weeks. Uh, Talladega and Daytona. Daytona more than Talladega. But both are incredibly unpredictable. There's really not much player advantage of any kind, either one, because of all the attrition, all the wrecks, all the randomness. There are very few guys who long-term excel at these tracks or have a record of staying out of trouble. And by that, I mean not wrecking the car. You have generally in most, uh, most years, most guys have a string of no longer than three races uh, without wrecking the car, being wrecked, or having a mechanical problem. So what I'm saying to you is there is virtually no habit or data you can build up that's going to help you with Talladega or Daytona. I'm going to throw a few things out here that aren't official plays. Tiny, 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 if you absolutely have to have action this weekend, and I, I probably will a little. But the reality is it's a week to stay away from. As for Texas last week, I should have stayed away from a couple of those picks. It's funny. We had Larson uh, for a top five, and I sprinkled the win. Um, he's leading the race 20 laps to go, dominated the race, had the fastest car, and literally wrecks himself with 20 or 25 laps to go. So that one goes up in smoke. Uh, our pick earlier in the weekend with Austin Hill got wrecked. Uh, it's access. That didn't help us. Did have a winner in Christopher Bell, another top five hitting for plus 200, but not happy with the week, generally speaking. Will Byron ends up winning the race. I think it's a sixth win of the season. And if you were with me very early on in the spring, give us some of that season bet before we started these videos. Season bet Will Byron at 1600. So that at least make you feel a little better if he goes on to win this thing. What do we got left in Cup? Talladega this week, and we'll, I'll talk about it a little um, for trucks, and that's qualifying 9.30 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, and then the Cup guys, no Xfinity uh, this week. We did have Xfinity last week at Texas. What's coming up after this, the last round of, last race of round two of the Cup playoffs, Charlotte Roval next week, and we'll be back with a ton of picks. A ton of picks. Road courses, as you know, where we excel, and that's really a place to play a lot of matchups. Um, so we look at that kind of stuff. Obviously, have your eye on a cheap line for Reddick next week. I'm um, going to explain throughout a few again. These are leans. These are not official picks uh, for Talladega. Um, books have his favorites. And again, Talladega and Daytona, there are no super hardcore favorites. Most expensive cars are around 1100 1200 That's Keselowski, Blaney, Busher. You're hearing Fords, aren't you? Uh, next tier, Denny Hamlin, Bubba Logano, Elliott, 13, 1400. Byron, Larson, Kyle Busch, around 2000. And then you start getting some value out there. Um, Bell, Cinder, Chastain, Almarola, 2200, most places. After that, here are some guys I'm going to nibble on. And I haven't seen top 10 prices I like. So again, these are like tiny nibbles. For me, I'll be playing like 10th of a unit on these guys to win, understanding these are some of the best guys these sorts of tracks. Uh, Ricky Sinhouse Jr., repeat Talladega winner. He's 3,000 MGM nibble. Uh, don't hate Harvick at 3,000. Eric Jones is great at high bank tracks and plate tracks. Better at Daytona than Talladega, but he's 3,300 at 365. Anything better than 3,000, I think you play some of him. Um, Michael McDowell, good at plate tracks. Good at Daytona. Not as good here. He's 3,500 MGM nibble. Uh, Martin Truex desperately needs a win. Could really use a win here. I normally go against the Toyotas at plate tracks just based on teamism. There are fewer Toyotas to work together. He's 3000 at Barstool. If you see him at 3000 or cheaper, buy a little Truex. And Austin Dillon, same story. Great at these plate tracks. 3500 on FanDuel and on Barstool. So, yeah, down to the guys in the 3500s. Um, seeing some Bowman out there around 3000 Don't hate that. Some Priest at 3500 Really like Briscoe at 3,500. Basically build a self-portfolio. Six or seven or eight of these guys out in this three, 4,000 area who are Fords, who have a record of being okay at least plate tracks and bursting through. But there's really nobody outside of Blaney and Kez that seem to have a good repeatable motion at these tracks. So this is not for the faint of heart. Don't like top tens. Don't like a lot of matchups. You're betting on attrition here, so I want you to give yourself essentially a quarter of the field for a chance to win three to one, four to one on what you're doing. Uh, truck race, feel the same way. It's a little thinner field. We've seen truck races here at Talladega go to guys way down the boards. The Spencer Boyds, the Bailey Curry is really not based on skill. Um, the only guy I like in any meaningful sense this weekend, probably, uh, is a guy we've been riding the last several weeks. That's Grant Infinger. 
Uh, he's 1400 at DK for a win. I would nibble on that. If you can get him at 200 for a top five any place, I would play that. But the best price I'm seeing right now is about 170. There's nobody else on the top of this field that really just screams to you automatic a plate track or dominant a plate track. Uh, best price for Eckes is 1100. I might nibble on that, but I think it's going to be a Chevy. Um, surprised by the price differential on Nick Sanchez. He's 2,500 or a few places to win. And for a top 10 truck in this scenario, that's actually, that's actually pretty good. But no real strong, real heavy plays from Talladega in either of these things. It's getting dark where I am. It's getting dark on NASCAR this weekend. Not playing much from Talladega. Charlotte, Roval next week back with a full slate of picks. I'm your NASCAR guru. Thanks to the FTA guys, the college kids, Matt, eight, and the gang. We'll see you guys next week.